Hi guys, we are going to be doing practice and homework 12.9 elapsed time. Elapsed time is just when you have to figure out a starting point or an ending point of time throughout the day. Please remember that after 12 o'clock, it turns to one o'clock. So time is on a base 12 instead of a base 10. We also have to keep in mind that an hour is 60 minutes, not 100. Most of us don't have that paper, so let's go ahead and write your name up on the top along with 12.9. This one has five questions, and number one was done for us, but let's just look at it anyways. Molly started her piano lesson at 3.45. The lesson lasted 20 minutes. So we have our 345 plus our 20 minutes. So we can add that. 5 plus 0 equals 5. 4 plus 2 equals 6. But remember that if you get a 60, that equals one whole hour. So this is going to turn into a zero, and we're going to carry over that hour and make it 405. And since this was 345 p.m., we are still working at p.m., 405 p.m. Okay, let's try out number two. Brendan spent 24 minutes playing a computer game. He stopped playing at 3.55 and went outside to ride his bike. What time did he start his computer game? So we know that he ended at 3.55 and we know that he played for 24 minutes. We need to know when he started. So I'm going to take away those 24 minutes. So five minus four equals one. 5 minus 2 equals 3, and 3 minus nothing will give me 3. Since it was 3.55 p.m., it's going to be 3.31 p.m. as well. Let's try out number 3. Amy's karate class lasted 1 hour and 15 minutes. And it's over at five o'clock. What time does it start? So we know that the end time is five o'clock p.m. And we know that her class lasts one hour and 15 minutes. Now we need to subtract that. And just like in number one, we have to remember that a whole is 60 minutes because over here we have to borrow. So I'm going to borrow from my five and it's going to become a four. Now this will become 60 minutes. And now I have to borrow from my six becomes a five and this becomes a 10. So 10 minus five will give me five. Five minus one will give me four. Four minus one will give me she started at 3.45 p.m. Let's try number four. Number four, Mr. Garmo left for work at 7.15. 25 minutes later, he arrived at work. What time did he arrive? So he left at 7.15 a.m., and he wrote, uh, it took him 25 minutes. And what time did he get to work? Five plus five is 10. One plus one plus two is four. Seven plus nothing is seven. So he arrived at work at 7.40 a.m. Last one, number five. Explain why it is important to know if the time is a.m. or p.m. when figuring out how much time has elapsed. 
Well, a.m. is in the morning and p.m. is in the evening. And sometimes if you guys are thinking about lunch, we start lunch at 11.30 and we end at 12 o'clock. But if I was to say 11.30 a.m. to 12 o'clock a.m., that means I'm going all the way till midnight. So I need to know that this one is a.m. and the 12 o'clock is p.m. Just like we start at 12 o'clock p.m. our uh, recess and we go to 12 o'clock or 12.25 p.m for our recess. So the a.m. and p.m. tells us what time of day. When you are done with your practice and homework for 12.9, please send me a picture of this. Then log into Galileo and do your 12.9. If you are doing your practice or your packet work, then you will have a Galileo assignment Please take a picture of both of them and send them to me. Thanks, guys.